The globalization debate. Is it time to reconsider international trade? When it comes to the globalization debate, there are two main sides. Those who believe that globalization is good for the economy and those who believe that it hurts the economy. Globalization is the process of expanding world trade, contacts among societies, and the sharing of ideas around the world. The globalization debate is all about whether this process is good or bad for society. There are many arguments for why globalization is good for the economy. One argument is that it leads to more efficient production. When businesses can produce goods and services more cheaply, it leads to lower prices for consumers and higher profits for businesses. This can create a virtuous circle of growth and development. Another argument is that globalization creates more jobs. When businesses expand internationally, they need to hire more workers. This can help to reduce unemployment and poverty. There are also arguments for why globalization hurts the economy. One argument is that it leads to a race to the bottom. When businesses can move their production to countries with lower wages and fewer environmental regulations, it puts downward pressure on wages and working conditions around the world. This can make it difficult for workers to earn a decent living. Another argument is that globalization leads to a loss of jobs in developed countries. When businesses relocate. 1. The global economy has undergone profound changes in the past three decades too. The forces of technology and global integration have transformed national economies into a single global marketplace 3. The benefits of international trade and investment have been widely recognized 4. However, the globalization debate has intensified in recent years 5. Some argue that international trade and investment are leading to a more unequal and unstable world 6. Others believe that the benefits of globalization outweigh the costs. 1. The global economy has undergone profound changes in the past three decades. The globalization of the world economy has been one of the most important developments of the past three decades. It has been driven by a dramatic increase in international trade and investment, as well as by the spread of new technologies. The globalization of the world economy has had a number of important consequences. It has led to a significant increase in world trade and investment, as well as to a more integrated global economy. It has also contributed to a more rapid spread of new technologies and to a more efficient allocation of resources. However, globalization has also been associated with a number of problems. One of the most significant has been the increase in economic inequality, both within and between countries. Another has been the environmental damage that has been caused by the growth in international trade and investment. In recent years, there has been a growing debate about the merits of globalization. Some argue that it has been a positive force, while others contend that it has been a major cause of economic and social problems. The debate about globalization is unlikely to be resolved anytime soon. However, it is important to recognize that the world economy has undergone profound changes in the past three decades, and that globalization has been a major driving force behind these changes. 2. The forces of technology and global integration have transformed national economies into a single global marketplace. In recent years, the globalization debate has raged on, with proponents arguing that international trade is a boon to the global economy, and detractors contending that it hurts national economies. The truth is, both sides have valid points. International trade does have the potential to hurt national economies, but it also has the potential to benefit them. The key is to understand how the forces of globalization are impacting your economy, and to adjust your policies accordingly. The globalization of the world economy has been driven by two main forces, technology and integration. Technology has made it easier for businesses to operate across borders, and integration has made it easier for businesses to trade with one another. As a result, national economies have become increasingly interconnected. The forces of globalization have had a transformative effect on national economies. In the past, businesses were largely confined to their domestic markets. Today, businesses can operate in multiple countries and sell to customers around the world. This has made it possible for businesses to tap into new markets and to find new sources of growth. However, the globalization of the world economy has also had some negative effects. For example, businesses can now relocate to other countries where labor and production costs are lower. This can lead to job losses in the country where the business is based. Additionally, businesses can now source their products from anywhere in the world, which can lead to a decline in the quality of products. 
The globalization of the world economy has created both opportunities and challenges for national economies. To succeed in the global marketplace, countries need to develop policies that take into account the new realities of the world economy. 3. The benefits of international trade and investment have been widely recognized. The globalization debate has been ongoing for many years, with supporters and detractors arguing the merits of international trade and investment. While there are benefits and drawbacks to globalization, the overall benefits of international trade and investment have been widely recognized. International trade and investment promote economic growth and development. By opening up new markets, trade and investment create new opportunities for businesses and entrepreneurs. They also bring foreign capital and technology into a country, which can help to spur economic growth. In addition, trade and investment can help to create jobs and reduce poverty. Supporters of globalization argue that it has helped to raise living standards around the world by promoting economic growth and development. They point to the fact that global poverty has declined significantly over the past few decades as evidence of the benefits of globalization. They also argue that globalization has helped to spread democracy and promote human rights. Critics of globalization argue that it has led to a worsening of working conditions and a decline in wages for workers in developed countries. They also argue that it has led to environmental degradation and the exploitation of workers in developing countries. 4. However, the globalization debate has intensified in recent years. The globalization debate has intensified in recent years for a variety of reasons. One reason is the increasing economic inequality within countries. As globalization has led to the rise of multinational corporations, the 1% has become increasingly globalized, while the rest of the world has been left behind. Another reason for the intensification of the globalization debate is the increasing cultural homogenization that has come with it. With the rise of global media, corporations have been able to dictate what culture should look like around the world. This has led to a loss of cultural diversity, as well as a loss of traditional knowledge and values. The globalization debate has also been intensified by the environmental crisis. The world is facing an unprecedented environmental crisis, and it is clear that globalization is a major contributor. As the world becomes more economically interconnected, the decisions of one country can have a huge impact on the environment of another. Finally, the globalization debate has intensified in recent years because of the increasing number of refugees and migrants. As globalization has led to the rise of conflict and insecurity in many parts of the world, more and more people are being forced to flee their homes in search of safety. It is clear that the globalization debate is not going away anytime soon. With the world becoming more and more interconnected, the stakes are only getting higher. It is time to have a serious conversation about the future of globalization. 5. Some argue that international trade and investment are leading to a more unequal and unstable world. Some argue that international trade and investment are leading to a more unequal and unstable world. Critics say that the global economy is rigged in favor of the rich and powerful, and that the benefits of trade and investment are not shared equally. They argue that the global economy is becoming increasingly financialized and controlled by a small number of multinational corporations. They say that free trade agreements and deregulation have made it easier for these companies to exploit workers and environmental resources. Supporters of international trade and investment argue that it has lifted millions of people out of poverty and that it benefits consumers by providing them with more choices. They say that trade creates jobs and stimulates economic growth. They also argue that multinational corporations are a force for good, and that they bring investment, jobs, and economic growth to developing countries. The debate over international trade and investment is complex, and there are valid arguments on both sides. However, it is clear that the global economy is becoming increasingly unequal and unstable. This is causing hardship and suffering for many people around the world. The question is whether international trade and investment are the cause of this inequality, or whether they are simply symptoms of a broader problem.